Hello and welcome into the 3D. In this video series, we are creating an FPS game and if you haven't watched the previous tutorials, I definitely recommend checking them out. Before we start, I would like to thank to my supporters who have bought me a coffee and if you want me to continue this series, please comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. In this tutorial, we are going to continue working on our FPS project and if I press play, you will see that I can play around the basic level we created, but we don't have a character and we can't do anything else. So first, go to the content folder, right click and create a new folder. Let's rename it player to keep our player files in sight. Open the folder by double clicking on it, then right click and select the blueprint class. We need to select the character blueprint. Let's rename this to player underscore BP, which stands for blueprint. This is our player blueprint, but we are not going to open it yet. In this tutorial, we are going to create the elements we will need for the following tutorials. Let's go back to the content folder. Now we are going to create a game mod, but I won't create a folder for that. Right click again go to the blueprint class and select the game mod base. This will be our game mod. You can give it any name you like, but I will call it FPS underscore game mod. Great. Now we have a game mod, but we need to tell Unreal Engine to use this game mod instead of the default one. So go under settings, go to project settings, find maps and mods, and there you can change the default game mod to the FPS game mod we just created. Select that and we are done with the project settings. Now that we have set the game mod, we can double click on it. In this new panel, go under details and change the default pawn class from the default pawn to the player blueprint we have created. Great. Compile, save, and if we press play, you will notice that we can't move yet, but we know the character has spawned. We can't move because we haven't assigned any movement functions to our character yet. So that was everything for this tutorial. If you like this series, make sure to subscribe and comment down below. Also, if you want to get private coaching from me or support this channel, you can buy me a coffee using the link below. Once again, Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video.